In this video, we'll talk about how to change the representation of your model inside the workspace using the available degenerate geometries. Now, we have a normal view in most cases. If we select all of our components, and in fact, let's only work with the wing. So we'll show only, choose the wing, and here we're going to go to a surface degenerate representation. Now, notice that the caps snapped off, and we're only looking at the surfaces. But if we zoom in, we can see that the leading edge of this wing is actually kind of choppy, and we might want to increase the tessellation here. So under our wing component in the general tab, if we turn up this tessellation, you can see that we can get a much finer leading edge here just by turning up the tessellation. Just for comparison's sake, let's turn this back down, and we'll continue looking at some of the other views. Now, if we decide to change from a surface to a plate degenerate model, that takes everything and flattens it down from a point to point leading edge to trailing edge line and treats this as a trapezoidal section of your wing. Now in this case, it's straight, but the incidence at the root is still captured. If we also want to capture some of the camber, we choose camber degenerate model, and now we can see that this root is actually curved a little bit. So we can see this a little bit better if we turn off that symmetry, you see how this is curved. So your camber line is captured in this and the incidence. And out here at the tip, you can see that we don't have any camber. So this is a way to quickly jump between views and see what your representative degenerate model might look like for either a panel code or a vortex lattice method solver or a variety of output configurations.